Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. Uh, a while ago I did a video on the Pothos plants, otherwise known as Devil's Ivy. And there's some stuff I kind of held back from everybody because I want to get some pertinent information on exactly what people thought about the plant. Even this button fern here, you know. But the, I think the video was like, even after 50 years of using the pothos, why is it that no one can come up with a conclusive uh, hypothesis or anything else about does it use nitrates? And I kind of held back a little bit because I wanted to find out more information from the uh, people on that use the plant. Does it really use nitrates for them or does it do nothing? Well, I found out that more, more than two-thirds of the people that use the plant claim it does nothing. That's two-thirds of the people. That means one-third claim that it will take up nitrates. Uh, I talked to a friend of mine who is a uh, professor of uh, aquatic botany that he teaches. And he, uh, he's into it to the point where he even has a, a whole garden center of nothing but aquatic plants. That's all, all he deals in is aquatic plants. Well, anyhow, <clears throat> there's a few things that uh, if you talk to greenhouse growers who grow the plants, if you talk to the aquatic botanists, there's a few things that, uh, that you're going to find out. Now, like I said, this is a learning channel, so you're going to find out something that nobody really ever talks about. This will be the first time you hear it. In fact, it could be the point that it could be shocking information. But let me get into what I'm talking about here with the pothos. First of all, pothos does not use nitrates out of your aquarium water. It can't use nitrates out of your aquarium water because it hasn't learned how to take a nitrate and convert it back to ammonium. <laughs> what these plants use is called urea uh, ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate, we all know, is a typical fertilizer that everybody uses. Ammonium nitrate is what is used in agriculture. We know that ammonium nitrate can, uh, can be used for bombs, as we know. It is a fertilizer that uh, I think right now it's in short supply, ammonium nitrate, but they can use ammonium nitrates. Now, you if you think about what people have said on YouTube and stuff, that the plant grows better when it seems to go into the substrate. Well, there's a reason for that. The plant grows good when it's in the water column, but better when it is in the substrate. I'll get into that. First of all, we know that ammonium will escape your aquarium easier in higher pH, but yet higher pH means ammonium and ammonia become more dangerous to the aquatic animals as pH goes above 7. On the other hand, as pH goes up, the release of nitrate from the water is a lot easier from the water column. It also is the same thing with agriculture. Ammonium can be released through the soil easier when the soil gets more alkaline and the pH starts going up on the soil. You're going to lose a lot of your ammonium nitrate from the soil. Same thing with the aquarium. If your pH goes up, you will lose more ammonia, but it's not going to be to the point, and I'll make this very clear, to the point where it's going to save your fish. If you want to save your fish, it's better off to drop your pH below 7.0 because it becomes less toxic. On the other hand, as uh, you raise your pH, it will release more ammonia from the aquarium, but not to the point where it's going to save your fish. So, as I explained to you, aquatic plants have to take nitrates and convert it in a two-step process to take nitrates and convert it into nitrites and then into ammonium. Okay, that's what the plant has to do. 
they've learned to do that. Some plants, as I explained, like crypts, for example, have never learned how to convert and do that process. It's the same way with your pothos. It's the same way with a lot of your terrestrial plants. A lot of nitrogen that gets expelled into our waterways and stuff like that is nitrogen that you figured, well, why didn't get it get used up? Why didn't the plants use it? If it's the wrong kind of nit nitrogen, the plants really can't use it. And they, a lot of plants have not learned how to convert it over into ammonium nitrates. Terrestrial plants like ammonium nitrates. So when a plant like apothos is put into your aquarium, it doesn't use nitrates. It uses ammonium nitrates. It uses ammonia that's in the aquarium, not nitrates directly. Why some people say, oh, my nitrates went down? Because like the BCB basket, or if you're using an anoxic filter, what you have done is if you eliminate ammonia in a BCB basket or with kitty litter, it traps the ion, right? And that ammonia ion can be attracted. So it can be exchanged by a, a plant root hair for another ion. It's very easy to uptake ammonia or ammonium is for a plant. So that's what the kitty litter does. There's many articles and even books and stuff written on the BCB basket and anoxic filtration, how it takes ammonia out of the water. In the same way, that's what your terrestrial plant's doing. It takes ammonia out of water. If you eliminate ammonia, then you're not going to have the nitrogen cycle. You're going to bypass it. And that's the same thing with the anoxic filter. It bypasses the nitrogen cycle. You don't have nitrites and you don't have nitrates. Same thing here. If this plant can take ammonium out of the water, which is what it looks for, you won't have that cycle of breaking down nitrites to nitrates. So therefore, some hobbies say, oh, it has taken away my nitrates. Well, it's taken away your nitrates because it's taken away your ammonium. And because it's looking for ammonium nitrates, not nitrates, you are eliminating your ammonia and you're eliminating the nitrogen cycle, which means no nitrates. So if you have nitrates in the water, they're going to start decreasing only because you're using the ammonia out of the water and you're stopping the nitrogen cycle. Makes sense, doesn't it? This is why some people say, oh, my pothos or my doubles ivy, it's eliminated my nitrates. Well, it hasn't. It has eliminated your ammonium. Now, when the roots get into the soil, into the substrate, there's videos on it, it seems to grow better. It seems to work better. Sure. What is in your substrate? Ammonia. This is how the nitrogen cycle works. Fish are constantly making ammonia. Ammonia comes through the decompensation of plant matter, fecal matter, anything that you have. It comes from the decompensation. We know that. These are called oxidizers. These oxidizers are 24-7 breaking down ammonia into nitrites. Or if you have a plant like a pothos that can use ammonia directly, like a BCB basket or an anoxic filter, you are then given the plant ammonia and it is bypassing the nitrogen cycle. Therefore, it looks like it's eating up your nitrates. Too many people have told me it does nothing for nitrates. Of course it doesn't. Because the plants are not capable of taking the nitrates like we think and wanting to break it down into the ammonium nitrate, which is what they're looking for. So the reason terrestrial plants seem to work in some tanks and don't work in other tanks is because they're taking the ammonia out of your water column what is in there. And since fish, like goldfish or all fish, are 24-7 making ammonia through their respiratory and through what's breaking down 24-7, that is the reason they grow so well, because they use the ammonium nitrate, which is basically ammonium or ammonia. 
So now we understand when the roots get into the soil or into your substrate, why they seem to grow better. What's in your substrate? Ammonia. Especially, especially if you take your substrate and you don't use a plenum and you put it in the bottom of your aquarium, you are creating even more ammonia because you are doing assimilatory denitrification, which means that you are literally uh, breaking down nitrates into ammonia, the pothos once. That's why they do better if their roots are in the substrate. So this is something that's never told to the hobbyist. Of course, I understand you're not botanist, you're not aquatic botanist, uh, and you're also do not know agriculture or you don't know how greenhouses work or anything else, but you have to now, you're taking something that's a terrestrial plant, putting it into aquatic environment, and then thinking that, oh, my nitrates are gone. But you also no, will notice your ammonia is gone. So when you use a terrestrial plant in your aquarium, you will notice your ammonia levels. If you have high ammonia, it will take the ammonia out. And if you get rid of ammonia before it does the nitrogen cycle, you're getting rid of nitrates. It's that simple. They don't use nitrates. They use ammonium nitrate, which is called ammonium nitrate. And that's why your terrestrial fertilizers are all made with ammonium nitrate. And it's just not nitrates, NH3. It's ammonium nitrate. That's what they use. That's what your plants are doing. And that's why it may appear to use your nitrates. So we need to get the record straight in this hobby of how pothos or doubles ivy or even this button fern, how they really work inside our aquatic environment. If you have an ammonia problem, Pothos is your answer. Doubles IV is your answer if you seem to have an ammonia problem. And since ammonia is being constantly produced in our aquariums 24-7, it's a good, it's a good uh, thing to use one of these plants to get rid of your ammonia because it will stop the nitrogen cycle. Those people who are using it, like me, and still have nitrates, why? Well, we know why. Because it can't use nitrates. Even aquatic plants, in order to use nitrates, have to break down nitrates back into ammonia. ammonia. So, that is the reason why your pothos or your doubles ivy does not get rid of your nitrates. That is the reason why. That is the reason why in some aquariums it grows a lot better, depending on how much ammonia you have or ammonium you have and other tanks that may not do as well. So now you know why your pothos does not take up nitrates. It doesn't break down nitrates back into ammonia. It uses ammonia directly. Now you understand why fruits go into the substrate and basically if you have your substrate without a plenum, they, they even grow better because of that fact. In fact, a lot of times, if you take pothos and you put it in a glass jar and, and you give it nitrates, uh, the plant, or even if you give it, let's say, uh, iron with nitrates in it, you will find out that it may harm the plant and you may wind up killing your plant. And you'd be scratching your head saying, wait a second, I thought, uh, I thought if I gave a lot of iron to my plants, well, the nitrates, it can't use it. So it's using what is available in the aquarium, which is the most available thing is ammonium, ammonia, because of how we set up our aquariums and how we use it. Now, it doesn't mean that if you're, like me, if I'm using a plenum like in this goldfish tank here, 
that you're not going to have ammonia. You have ammonia all the time. But I hope now you understand this is the why Pothos always is not a nitrate taker up. So my nitrates have not changed. Whether I have the plant or whether I take it out, my nitrates are exactly the same. And the roots on these are grown profusely. But I have goldfish. They produce a lot of ammonia. Ammonia. I have a lot in this goldfish tank that's being decomposed because I have a lot of oxidizers. Therefore, you have a lot of ammonia, ammonium, and those are available to the plants. And that's why the plants are grown so good. So now you know the answer why your plants will grow good and why sometimes they'll even go as far as people saying, oh, they use nitrates. No, they use ammonium nitrate. Not nitrates, ammonium nitrates. They do not know how to use nitrates and break it back down to ammonia. All plants, whether terrestrial or aquatic, use ammonia as a food source. That's why our fertilizers are ammonium nitrates, our urea ammonia nitrates that they give for agriculture. So now you know the reason why some potholes don't do anything with nitrates, and some, for some hobbyists, say, oh, they use nitrates. Now, no one's ever talked about this, but this is why. This is, this is your answer, right in a nutshell. So I hope this video kind of helps that if you do use apothos, if you aren't having your nitrates disappear, you understand why. You have plenty of um, ammonia. If you have plenty of ammonium, plants not going to use any nitrates. No reason to even touch a nitrate. If you have a lot of ammonia and it can take it out to the point where you don't do the nitrogen cycle, that explains then you won't have any nitrates. Duh. You know, it's very easy to understand. So this is Dr. Novak. Until next time, happy fish keeping. I hope you learned something from this video. So you can't go in there and people say, oh, my pothos is using nitrates as a food source. No, it's using the ammonium nitrate. It's called ammonium nitrate. It's using the ammonia that's in the environment because my tank, lots of tanks, two thirds of the people say our nitrates never got affected. Start testing your ammonia and you're going to find out, oh, it's gone. In fact, you can even test it by not having anything in the aquarium and put a pothos and put ammonia in the water and you'll find out your ammonia will be gone. Okay? So until next time, this is Dr. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, like I said, this is a learning channel. This is something you probably won't hear off of any other channel out there. And uh, like I said, sometimes I throw things out that uh, I make it simple, of course, you know. What I just said has been really simplified. Okay, it's a little more complicated than what I said. But now you understand when people may come up and say, oh, my puzzle eats up nitrates. No, it doesn't. It eats up ammonia. And therefore, your nitrates get less and less because you're bypassing the nitrogen cycle. So until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Thank you for watching.